Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Often I receive uh, emails um, every day, lots of emails, that um, and many of them is about a young man, boy, says that I can't get her out of my mind. I can't stop thinking about her. I don't know what to do. And they all seem to think that this is the way it has to be, as if they have no control on it. And it's a mystic thing. It's in their mind that means something, that means that they can't have any control on it, and they're stuck with it, they're attached to it, and they can't breathe, they can't do this, they can't focus, and it's always in their mind, and so on and so forth. Let's examine together uh, some of the facts about mind, some of the uh, uh, ways that why this happens, and what it means and what is the process of mind in this, the role of mind and thoughts in this. And perhaps by having the knowledge of why and how things become to be in your mind, then you would not think of it as a mystic and you would not think of it that it has to be this way and be stuck with it and think that you're helpless or be devastated. So let's examine together. For that, perhaps we can get help from the example of a fruit. Let's think about a certain kind of fruit that you like that comes into your mind. Let's say a grape. So you think about a grape and the thought of grape, the picture of grape, the picture of grape comes to your mind and with that picture a certain taste of the grape, the file that has a taste of the grape comes with it. So now you have the picture and with it you got more than what you bargained for. There is another file comes in which stimulates and turns that sensation of the taste of the grape and turns it into an emotion reaction, emotional reaction. So now you're not reacting to the picture of the grape, you're now reacting to the sensation that the taste of that grape, that fruit created in your mouth and you react into it in a certain, with a certain emotion. Now, before we go to the next step of what happens here, let's go to the example in, in your cases, that when you see a girl uh, from the distance or uh, somewhere in the movies or in person, and you get infatuated with her, you, 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 f you find her beautiful, her smile or interest, or something about her that you like, uh, which is the way we are all programmed. Uh, you know, we're all programmed in our genes. We have a program for procreation. You know, you know, men like girls and they pursue that for the fact that they're programmed for procreation. And that's normal, that's okay. It's wonderful to like a girl, be interested, and uh, you know, in a respectful manner, you see, because if you, um, you, now, if the girl doesn't want to get to know you and doesn't like you or doesn't want to interact with you and you still pursue, then you're being an asshole. I mean, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're talking about being civilized and respectful to the reciprocation and to the reaction or interaction and the wishes of you know both sides. And that's the scenario we're talking about. So having said that, if you, if you like a certain girl and then you can't get her out of your mind, it's again because with that identification with that interest in that girl and that it seems beautiful to you because every girl is beautiful but depending on you know your taste so what's beautiful to you that you see and you like her naturally with that there is a file of the benefits or other sensations other than the imagination the picture of that person comes to you because you're programmed to feel these things, your programs to, to for procreation. So these other sensations come with it when you see a girl that you like, which is how it feels to hold her hand, how it would be to interact with her, how it would be to walk with her, to sit down and talk with her, or you know, to look into each other's eyes and how it makes you feel when she smiles at you, or. Um, you know, hugging or kissing or everything else that, uh, you know. So you will have all those files and sensations 
come with that initial recognition interest in that girl and because of all those then you react in a certain emotional way you turn you you create a certain kind of a attachment to that desire to that sensations that we just talked about now getting back to the grape so when you have all those tasteful sensations of the grape in your in your mouth then now you crave for it you want to turn that experience that files emotional files and emotional reaction you now want to turn it into actuality to the physical actuality of having a grape and then experiencing all that now same thing when you like the girl and you imagine or experience all those emotions and reacted emotionally in that uh, in, in when you remember the picture of the girl or remember the the girl that you met or you want to meet then uh, those emotional reaction will encourage you to want to turn it into actuality into reality and to turn it into a physical reality and that is where you actually get attached because now you have created a possibility the idea of having a physical reality to this whole infatuation and the emotional reaction and so what do you do in that case to get the grape out of your mind well the easiest way would be to focus on other types of fruits that are in the in the fruit bowl in the in the setting in the plate in other words you can start now quickly in order to kind of wash away the craving or the taste of the grape or the idea or the picture of the grape so get that out of your mind you can think of a mango or an apple that you like or ananas which is the you know the another name for pineapple or banana or whatever else it is that you like because when you realize that this is how you program to like these uh, fruits and the picture of it bring a certain kind of a sensation and the sensation file makes you uh, have a certain emotional reaction but by changing the type of fruit you will not you will no longer have that emotional reaction to the previous fruit and now you're <clears throat> focused on the new kind of a fruit and that way you kind of washed away that old picture and brought something new so your attachment actually got released it's like your boat is is freed from the dock and the rope is cut and you can now move on same thing when you have that kind of infatuation with the girl that you don't know or you want to get to know and so on and all that emotion came you can start thinking about so many other beautiful girls that are out there whether you see them in the movies or you see them in the actuality of the you know um, the day-to-day -day life but you can realize that this whole interest w could be replaced with many other wonderful pictures a wonderful existence of other girls that are out there and then your attachment becomes a little bit looser to that imaginary thing or the infatuation uh, of uh, that certain girl and uh, which was creating a certain uh, feeling of being stuck and not being able to get it get it out of your mind and not be able to focus on your things and therefore by seeing that there are other possibilities out there it's like you took your focus out of it and you replaced it with maybe better possibilities and you created this more of a variety more of a possibility and when you understand this is the process of your mind that creates this craving and then now you want to turn it into actuality so now because it hasn't now turned into physical actuality you're stuck on it but once you move on and again take it to a different kind of possibilities that is out there it doesn't have to be this particular one to be turned into physical actuality it's just an idea then you understand how your mind the process of it work and there you're not you're not thinking that this is a mystical way it has to be this way i have to feel this way and i got to be stuck with it i have no control on it but you understand the process of it is what happens and why it happens the whole events of it in your head then you understand that it's not mystic you can be in control you can replace it with another fruit <laughs> so to speak <laughs> and then you will know that it doesn't have to be you don't have to be stopped or feeling helpless or devastated
and you don't have to turn it into a physical uh, reality uh, or actuality and you can simply move on by focusing on other possibilities and it doesn't have to it doesn't have to turn into actuality just because you have a emotional reaction to it so once we think that way and understand the knowledge of it and then have an idea why and how these feelings uh, are created in you then you will not be so uh, feeling that uh, this is a divine <laughs> happening and that you can simply understand it and then move on and attend to your day-to-day -day life and other stuff until it naturally somehow uh, some relationship to your liking comes to be of an actuality something for you to think about and hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk about something else so have a nice day talk to you later it may all seem like a mystery to you right now but you can always go to my youtube channel where you will find over 300 videos on this subject and more you can find out exactly why you feel the way you do and why your thoughts are the way they're reacting and the role of your psyche in all this. Plus, how to feel good again, become strong and get your confidence back and ready to move on. And more importantly, how to move on. And you will certainly be fine once you know how your mind works there. If you still needed to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, that's always possible through my site, mindthatseekstruth.com. There you can book a Skype consultation time for us and we can chat about what's concerning you. This is what I do with all people who need it from all around the world.